శివానంద శర్మ మెమోరియల్ ఆర్వీ కాలేజ్ వీడియో లెక్చర్స్ అండ్ ఐఎస్ఆర్ ఇనిషియేటివ్ ఎస్ఎస్ఎం ఆర్వీ కాలేజ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద ప్రీమియర్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్స్ రన్ బై ద ప్రెస్టీజియస్ ఆర్వీ గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్స్ హ్యాస్ కమ్ అప్ విత్ ద యూనిక్ ఇనిషియేటివ్ టు ఎంగేజ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ అట్ ద టైమ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ అన్ఫోర్సీన్ మెడికల్ ఎమర్జెన్సీ కాస్డ్ బై కరోనా అవుట్ బ్రేక్ as a socially responsible institution we would like to connect academically with students to make good the losses caused in this connection i rani antony raj department of bba has posted a video on the subject cost accounting and the topic reconciliation of cost and financial accounts problem solving part 2 please watch the video till the end and like share with your peer group and subscribe to our youtube channel let's start how to solve problem under reconciliation of cost and financial accounts in the previous video i have explained the format of reconciliation statement and in this video i am going to explain how to solve the problem under reconciliation statement and these are the four key points where you need to remember in order to solve the reconciliation statement when the expenses increases profit decreases then you have to add it when the expenses decreases profit increases you have to deduct it when you come to the income when the income increases profit also increases then you have to deduct it when the income decreases profit also decreases you have to add it so these are the four key points where you need to remember in order to work out the reconciliation statement now i have taken one problem here that is net profit as per costing books okay you should remember i have taken the problem based on costing books or loss in a financial books if it is given you have to use this format okay now i am going to explain the impact on the profit and what you have to do it whether you have to add it or you have to minus it if you know this no need to buy at the format now first we will go to the first one so here they have given net profit as per costing books that will take it in the format of reconciliation come to the next one factory overheads under recovered in costing the same thing i am going to write it down here factory overheads under recovered in costing okay now i'll explain see your factory overheads factory overheads means what it is an expenses okay under recovered means what it has they have collected less okay factory overheads means it is an expenses under recovered means it has where they have collected less then what happens the expenses decreases then profit increases you have to minus it so the expenses have come down i have written here so what is the amount they have given here in the costing that is 5700 financial account nil what happens in the profit when the expenses decreases profit increases then you have to minus it or you have to deduct it then come to the second one administration overheads recovered in excess administration overheads overheads recovered in excess now what has happened here administration overheads that is overheads means it is an expenses so they have recovered in excess that means they have recovered more here so the expenses increases profit comes down the expenses increases profit has come down then you have to add it so expenses increased it has been entered that is 4050 nil impact on profit will be when the expenses increases profit come down then you have to add it then come to the third one depreciation charge in financial books okay then one more it is the depreciation recovered in 
costing. So there are two depreciation. They have entered in a financial books as well as in a costing books. The same thing I am writing down here. Depreciation charges. Charges. So in financial books how much they have given? That is 3,660. In uh, cost accounting it is 3,950. Now what is the difference amount here? That is 290 rupees. So 290 rupees it has been collected excess in cost accounting. So depreciation means what? It is an uh, expenses again. So what has happened here? That is depreciation has been that means expenses have been increased. When the expenses increases what happens? Profit comes down. So when the profit comes down what you have to do? You have to add it. Okay, come to the next one. That is depreciation recovered in costing is over. Then interest received but not included in costing. Interest received. Interest it is the income. Okay. I will write it down here as the same thing. Received but not included in costing. So interest it is a income. So income received but not included in costing. So what you have to do here in the costing they have not returned. So only in the financial books they have returned 450 rupees. So what happens income? That is income has been decreased here. That means income they have not since they have not included in costing income has come down. When the income comes down what I meant? Profit also comes down. So you have to add it. Come to the next one. Income tax provided in financial books. Provided in financial books. So income tax is also a, it is an expenses. Okay. When the income tax, it is expenses, it has come down. That is income tax provided only in the financial books. How much it is? 600. So in the cost accounting it is nil. When the expenses decreases, profit increases, then you have to minus it. So for profit what happens? It will increase. So you have to minus. Next come to the next one. That is bank interest credited in financial books. See your bank interest credited. So when it is being credited means you have to think that it is an income. If it is debited then it is an expenses. So I will write it down here. Bank interest credited in financial books. So bank interest it is an income. They have entered only in the financial books that is 230 rupees. So when the income comes down what you have to do? The profit also comes down. So when the profit comes down you have to add it. Next is stores adjustment credited in financial books. Again stores adjustment it is credited. So credited means it is a income. Stores adjustment credited in financial books. So it is credited stores adjustment it is a income. In cost accounting nothing they have entered. So in the financial books it is 420. So income has come down. When the income comes down what happens? The profit also comes down. Then you have to add it. Next depreciation of char stock charge in financial books. Depreciation of stock charged in financial books or financial accounts. So depreciation it is an expenses. So here the expenses have come down. When the expenses reduces what happens? When the expenses comes down profit increases. So they have entered only in the financial books that is 860. So expenses come down, profit increases, then you have to deduct it. Minus. Next, 
dividend appropriated in financial accounts. Dividends appropriated in financial accounts. So your dividend, dividend is also a expenses. So now expenses have reduced how much it is 1200 when the expenses comes down profit increases then you have to deduct it the last one is loss due to theft or only entered only in financial books so they have entered only in the financial books the loss is also it is an expenses so when the expenses comes down what happens profit increases then you have to minus it profit increases it you have to minus it so when you want to work out the problem under reconciliation statement first you have to classify the given problem into a expenses and income then when you classify into expenses and income whether it is increasing or decreasing just to find out that Based on that, you have to add it and you have to minus it. So, these are the four key points where you need to remember. Things to be added that you have to put it in an addition column. What all things it has to be detected, put it in a less column. That's it. So, now I will show you by using the format. Now, what all things we have added, the same thing I am going to write it down here. See your net profit. First thing is that remember this problem I am doing that is net profit as per costing books. So net profit as per costing it is 66,760. Next what all things we have added just we will note down that. So add administration. Overheads recovered excess. How much it is? Four thousand two fifty. Then what are things we have added here? Depreciation charges. Only the difference amount you have to write it down here. Two ninety. Then interest received but not included in costing 450 rupees. Next bank interest, bank interest credited. Total up this, you will be getting 5640. So 66,760 plus 5640, the total will be 72,400. Okay, these are the things we have added. Next, we will go for what are the items to be detected. So come to the first one factory overheads. Under recovered that is 5700. Next, this is over, this is over, this is over. Next is income tax. Job 
stock charged in financial account that is 860 next dividend appropriated in financial books 1200 the last one is loss due to theft only in financial books it is 260 so out of 72400 you have to minus all these things so you'll be getting as minus value is 8000 620 so when you detect 72400 minus 8620 you will be getting 63780 this is profit as per as per financial books So this is profit as per financial books is 63,780. So this is how you are to work out the problem on reconciliation statement. Thank you for watching.